Hey everybody and welcome to this week's episode of New Strength Sugar Babes. So we've got Raylene here, she lives in Perth. She's got, we were just chatting about her three kids who are like in their 20s and I was saying, oh, I can't believe you got three kids. She's in her 50s, early 50s and she's been in the program uh, for eight months now and I'll stop crapping on and I'll let you tell the viewers but <laughs> can you just talk about why did you join the program? So like what were the issues that you were having and how are they affecting your life? Um, so, yeah, look, I saw the program come up in my Facebook feed for probably a few months before I, I dove into it. But um, the thing that I honed in on was the word sleep. So I, <laughs> unfortunately, I never used to sleep very well at all. I would take sleeping tablets every night of the week and I would still probably only get four hours sleep a night, you know, and I don't think I realised how much of a zombie I was until I started the program and started to sleep better. Yeah, wow. Um, and then I was also, I mean, I'm fairly fortunate, I suppose. I don't have a lot of digestive issues. Mm. Um, I'm going through, you know, it's going through menopause. So I had mm. stuck on a little bit of weight. But mm. I was one of these people that probably my whole life I've been very active, mm. been fairly healthy, what I thought was healthy, but, you know, um, and managed to maintain a reasonable weight, you know, throughout mm. my whole life. But... Just with menopause, it, it certainly was getting harder mm. and I just was not sleeping at all. So that was probably the main reason that I joined the program. And did you suffer any other sort of menopausal symptoms that women uh, typically get when they go through menopause? I know the sleep's a real big one. My mum yeah, was like that too. I don't even know if sleep was due to menopause. I just yeah. was never a good sleeper. I never have been. Um, I do, but I, but I actually take, I am actually on HRT patches, which helped at some of the other issues I had as well. Yeah, um, yeah with menopause. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and I haven't managed to get off those with the program mm. Um, mm. because I have got one um, quite bad um, thing that I get because of menopause that I've been told and I really should stay on the patches. Um, mm. so, yeah. Um, and had you done any sort of like weight training or any sort of dieting before you joined the program? So a lot of women do... You know, you said you've been quite active, but they, you know, low-calorie diets, they train a lot. Yeah. Um, look, I never did super low-calorie diets. Mm. Um, I suppose, yeah, I, I never really did, but I have always watched what I ate and I've mm. always been a fairly disciplined person, I suppose. So mm. I never had to really go on to the, um, yeah, on to any low. And as I said, I used to put up in a small country town Played team sports nearly every night of the week, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. and that sort of thing. And then as I got older and that sort of thing, I still remained active. As far as going to a gym, I don't think I walked into a gym until I was probably about 25. Mm. And ever since then, I have been a continuous gym guy. I'm just going to turn it off. Um, so, yeah, but I suppose it wasn't until I started New Strength that I really realised I've probably just fluffed around all these years. I haven't really been serious about it. <laughs> That was what I was like too when I met Craig. I was like, he's like, nah, just put the bar down. I don't know what you're doing at all. Oh, that's Well, that's good. That's good that you haven't, you know, because you've not like most of the other women in our program who just yo-yo did the silly yo-yo diets like me too. Um, so talk about what are the improvements you've seen in the eight months that you've been with us? Okay. Well, um, certainly, I mean, when I started the program, of course, I had to track the food that I was eating. Um, mm. So I was on, probably, I was on about 1,700 calories a day which is not super low, but it's certainly not high. Uh, so whereas now I'm on 2,050 calories a day mm. of yummy food. Um, so, you know, a lot more carbs and sugars back into my diet. I mean, years ago I took sugar out of my coffee and that sort of thing and mm. just because I thought, well, it's not good for me, whereas mm. now I've got all that back in there again, uh, which is great. Um, some of the other improvements will certainly sleep. I haven't had, had a sleeping tablet for probably six or seven months. That's great. And I would get, and I still wake up once or twice throughout the night. Mm. I'll go to the loo and I'll come back and I'll go straight back to sleep. So I'm probably getting about seven hours sleep a night. Mm. Um, you must feel heaps better. Oh, look, and as I said, I didn't realise how much of a zombie I really was until I started mm. getting real sleep. I mean, I think, and it probably <laughs> may sound a bit corny, but I actually feel like I've probably added 10 years to my life. Oh, it's so true, though. It's a game changer. Like, you feel 100% better. You, it's just, Definitely. yeah. Definitely. I mean, it's crazy how, yeah, you don't realise that till you start getting sleep, isn't mm. it? 
how bad you actually were. And um, and we yeah, you realise how important sleep is and, and mm. that sort of thing. Um, so then I've also had great um, so when I came to the program I was about sixty one point seven kilos, so mm. not that the weight, but I've lost about four kilos. Um, so mm. I'm down to fifty eight point eight or something at the moment about that. Mm. Um, and then as far as centimetres, I think I've lost um, it's about eight centimetres around my uh, belly button measurement, mm. uh, four around my waist, six or seven around my hips, a couple around my thighs, mm. um, and about four around my glutes. So, you know, I've just that, that bit of belly fat that I had from going through menopause, I've, I've lost. Yeah, you um, look great. I remember looking at your photos in the Facebook page. There's a real noticeable difference. Yeah, yeah. Clearly put on muscle and lost body fat and eating more food, which is so awesome. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Forget everything you've ever learned when you walk into this program because, yeah, to think that you eat so much more food yet you're losing, yeah, your measurements are changing is crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it probably it happened quite quickly for me. Mm. Um, some, people it's a lot, some people it's a lot slower. And maybe that's because my digestive system wasn't too bad and that's mm. But, you know, within the first three months, I lost most of those measurements then. And mm. now it's slowed down and, and that sort of thing. But, I'm, I mean, I'm very happy with where I am now. I'm not, um, mm. yeah, that's right. I mean, if I, if I lose a little bit more, I do, but I'm not unhappy with where I am, totally not, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of women, it depends on where, where your starting point is, you know, if you've got really bad hormonal issues and a lot of weight to lose, it obviously takes yeah, of course, um, of course. take yeah. longer. But that's... Um, yeah, that's so awesome. Just to sleep too. I know what you mean. Like it's just, yeah, yeah I think if, yeah, you'd probably have added 10 years to your, <laughs> to your life if you keep probably sleeping like this, which is good. I mean, I really feel yeah. like it probably has. Yeah, you know, I just yeah. feel great and, and, yeah, I, mean, I haven't felt this great. I can't remember feeling this good. And it's just, um, and no doubt it's, it's good food that I'm putting into my body and, mm. you know, things like my skin and nails and all that stuff are just so much better. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly good. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I love hearing that. Sleep and good food. I mean, you can't, you know, and then, and you're not, a, you're not a big 61 kilos is not big, you know, like you didn't start off big. So losing four kilos is quite, quite a lot. Um, oh, yeah. And some of the main objections we get from women who are thinking about joining the program is, um, and you're, you're obviously, you work and you've got kids and yeah. um, is time. They say, I don't have time to do this kitty. You know, what would you say to that? Um. I think once you get your head around the program, I, it doesn't take any more time. I mean, a lot of us, I used to go to the gym sort of five or six days a week. Mm. I only go three days now. Um, so you, you bring back some time there. But once you get into the meal prepping side of things, um, mm. I don't think it actually takes a lot of time. You know, mm. initially it may do because it, it did take me a little bit to get my head around it, you know, using my fitness pal and that sort of thing because I hadn't done that before. Um, but once you actually get it, it's, yeah, I, I feel like it actually doesn't take a lot of time. You know, I think it probably, like like you say, once you master mastering new skills, like anything, once you master it, it actually gives you time back, I think. You're spending less time on food prep and not training six days a week. Um, and the second one is online like some women are worried about doing it online obviously you're in Perth so you know no one comes and actually sees us face to face except if they come to an event how have you found like if a woman was worried about doing it online how have you found that the structure the support the systems oh look the support and the systems I think are, are awesome and I mean you guys are improving things all the time you know you're not just sitting still with it as well you're certainly improving things all the time the thing I like about the program is it's a very it's very educational Mm. So I'm walking away from this. You know, I've been in the program for eight months, and as you know, I'm just just about to go out and do this on my own. Um, mm. I'm walking away with this with all the tools I need to do it on my own because mm. it's extremely educational. And the way that you've got the module set up um, is, yeah, there's just so much information there. Mm. And as far as doing it online, I mean, I don't think I've um, it's been a disadvantage at all. You know, and I mean, you, you guys, of course, have everything from a physio that we can contact and talk, mm. talk, talk to right through to your, all your lifestyle coaches, nutritionists, um, the coaches. I mean, I did send in my videos every week of my, my workouts. Um, you get great feedback from it. Um, mm. And it's, 
yeah, it's 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 great. I didn't have an issue at all doing it online. And I, I thought I might originally, because I'm not very computer savvy. I've learned a lot along the way, actually, as far as that's concerned as well. Well, I mean, well, I didn't know what Slack was and I didn't, you know, all these other things. I've never done a Zoom call till till I've hopped on the program. And so it's, yeah. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Yeah. I think a lot of women say that too. And I, I think once you can master it, because it's just because you haven't done it before, but once you get your head around it, you sort of suddenly think, oh, if I can do this, you know, if I can, you know, get tech savvy, then I can do um, do anything. And then finally, it, money. So a lot of women are like, I don't know whether I should invest this money in myself. How, do you feel like you've got value for the money you've invested? Definitely, definitely. And I think as just going back to what I said, it's about the – the the expertise that you offer it's not just a, a diet plan you know you it's extremely educational and you've got all that support there behind you mm. you know said I mean I did call um, have a you know chat to the physio at one stage because I had problems with my back and um, just you know I've used most of those services somewhere out the eight months mm. and so I, you put all that into the equation. You know, it's no more money I'm paying for this program to go and do a 45-minute workout with my, with a PT and mm. then you walk away and you don't go back till the next time. Whereas mm. with this program, you have support throughout the week, every day. If you if you need help, there's always someone there. Mm. Um, so I, I definitely think it's worth, worth every cent. Mm. And I'm sleeping beautifully now, so it's certainly mm. worth every cent for me. <laughs> Oh, I know. I think about when I did, like, initially the popping the free bar with Emma um, and I think, God, I would have probably paid $10,000 because it's like it's just with the food. I just end the sleep. You say the sleep. I was the same as you. Like, I would used to just because I would do the dumb diets, you know, and not eat enough and so I'd always wake up during the night, like, multiple times and I'd just be tired all the time and it's just, it gives you your life back. But I think even that, just the sleep alone, it's just even for that I would have probably paid 10 grand. But, yeah, oh, that's awesome. And finally, if a woman was sitting on the fence and she was, you know, going, arming and ahhing about whether she should join, what would you say to her? Um, I'd probably just say, well, do it. Mm. But I think it's, you know, most women, if a, a lot of women anyway, if they're, they're do, you know, thinking of doing this sort of thing, it's because everything else hasn't worked. And I suppose I would say this is quite different to anything I've seen out there. Mm. Different, um, and that's a good enough reason to give it a go because mm. everything else out there doesn't seem to be working for a lot of women. So, um, and this has certainly worked for me, mm. and I know that it's worked for lots of other people as well. Mm. Um, I, yeah, I think just just do it. Don't waste your money on other things. Just give it a go. Well, I think too, it's like it just takes time. You've got to yeah. put the time in. Like you've put in eight months. Yeah. You know, most women like I want a result in twelve weeks. It's not going to happen because no, you can't. You know, and and you, you you a lot of women start even a worse starting point than you. Yeah, so it's a matter of. But then I sort of think to myself, well, what's if you invest one year for fifty? Yeah. You know, the payback of living the rest of your life sleeping, no hormonal yeah. issues. You know, and not it's not difficult to do compared to no. these all the week diets trying to eat twelve hundred calories. I mean, I sit on the couch every night with me sweets, with me cream rice. <laughs> Chocolate fudge, or my husband just looks at me and are you eating again? Yeah. It's crazy, and and to think I'm doing that, and yet we're still losing centimeters was just beyond me. To be honest, I just didn't think, no, nah, this can't be happening. But it was, and it, it was really quite easy. But I suppose it's just one word: consistency. You do have to try to be consistent. Well, you have to be consistent with anything in life. Like it's like it's like people say it's like saying the pen doesn't work, but I haven't picked it up. You know, like I think, yeah, with with anything. But it's it's easier to be consistent with this oh, because definitely. it's nice. Yeah. I, I used to yeah. binge it, um, you know, just now and again, you know, as we all used to do. And mm. we'd restrict yourself because even though I wasn't super low calorie, I did try to go eat fairly low carb and not much mm. sugar. And mm. then I'd be one of those women that, yeah, look, I would get out the full block of family block of chocolate, eat it all in one hit and then go back for more if it was still there now and again. Whereas Same. since I started this program eight months ago, I have never had a binge and so, I just never thought that would have been possible. But that's because I'm feeding my body those nice things all throughout the day and it's not, it's not craving it. It's not craving mm. it. But, um, oh. but, you know, certainly a good program.
that, that that's so true too. The binge eating, I think it's such a big issue for so many women. Um, mm. And it was the same for me. Like I never thought I'll never be able to beat binge eating ever. Yeah. But it's actually yeah. so simple. Yeah. When you think yeah. about it, it's like just eat what your body's craving. Yeah. Yeah. True. But better versions of it, you know, like just don't yeah. like biscuits and packaged foods. Eat like you say homemade fudge and and all yeah. the yummy stuff that we have. Yeah. God, I love that fudge. <laughs> <laughs> It's yum. I just made a fresh budge batch yesterday, actually, because you know Craig never bloody makes it. It's always me who's got to make it for him. Not that it's hard, but you know, men. Yeah, um, <laughs> anyway, oh, well, that's really awesome. Thanks so much for um, taking the time out to to come on the Sugar Babe Show. And if you're a woman and you're watching this, and you know you're in your fifties and you just yeah you're going through menopause, there is a better way. You don't have to cut the sugar and do all the stupid diets and do heaps of cardio. So um, click on the link below, fill out the short application form and you can book in a free chat with one of my coaches and see if the program is going to be uh, a, a good fit. So um, thanks again, Raylene. I really appreciate it and, um, and good luck with everything. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.